experiment number seven that has to be uh, implemented is shift registers. Uh, so the aim is to set up and verify the performance of shift registers using D flip flop. So now we have uh, understood the working of a D flip flop. So here we will not use uh, D flip flop as uh, uh, that um, gate connection. Here we will use the D flip flop IC that is 7474 IC. So here we have to set up and verify the performance of shift registers. So, registers are nothing but a group of flip-flop uh, that is used to store uh, binary data. So, uh, shift registers can accept a binary number and can um, transfer it to another source. So, it can take input from an output so an outside source and can store it and give it to another source. So, it can uh, based on how the data is being stored in the register and how the data is being taken out of the register, uh, shift register can be classified into four, four types of registers. Uh, data can be stored and taken out serially as well as parallelly. So, based on that we have serial in serial out shift register, serial in parallel out shift register, parallel in parallel out shift register, parallel in serial out shift register. Uh, so, this is the circuit diagram of um, serial in serial out and serial in parallel out shift register. So, here we have a clock pulse and uh, here uh, it is serial in serial out shift register. So, these are uh, D flip flops. Here it is actually uh, the diagram is of um, 4 bit uh, shift register. That is why we have 4 uh, uh, D flip flops connected uh, like this. So, since it is serial, the output of the first flip-flop will be connected to the input of the next flip-flop. And um, uh, uh, here you have to give clock to all the uh, flip-flops. Uh, then, uh, then according to the pinout diagram, the preset and clear has to be given. So, here we have a single input and a single output. Now, coming to the next um, uh, here you can give um, monopulse also or continuous clock pulse also. Uh, monopulse if we give and give the input, give the clock pulse, then it will, verification of output will be easy. Then coming to serial in parallel out shift register. So serial in parallel out shift register, here we have serial input and parallel output. Since we have parallel output here, uh, the uh, uh, we have if it is a 4 bit shift register we have 4 outputs and a single input single input will be given to the first flip flop and output will be taken from the output pin of all the 4 uh, flip flops so that is serial in parallel out flip flop then we have parallel in parallel out uh, sh uh, shift register so here Data will be given directly to um, each flip-flop because it is parallel in. So, uh, data will be given directly to each flip-flop and data will be taken directly uh, through the output pin of each uh, flip-flop. So, this is um, having four inputs and four outputs. Now, coming to the next part that is parallel in serial out shift register. If you see the circuit here uh, there is a not gate here there are two operations one is load operation and the other one is shift operation so first we have to load the data so load the data in order to load the data we have to uh, give this input here they we have an input here load and shift so if if we give this as zero then all the inputs will be load parallel in so from here we have four inputs four if this is actually a four bit uh, uh, shift register so we have four flip flops here and the input will be given directly to the uh, flip flops through this gate so uh, input will be given through this gate so the working uh, will be explained in class so, how, what happens is 4 inputs will be, uh, 4 bits will be given here and when we give 
a zero here as input the data will be stored in the flip flop data will be stored in each flip flop then it is serial out that means uh, data will be shifted one bit at a time uh, when we give the clock pulse so in order to take the data out of the register this should be made high this should be made high then uh, so that the shift load uh, complement shift will be made high then one bit will be shifted for one clock pulse so data from uh, this will be shifted to this flip flop and we'll get the output here then in the next flip flop data from this will be shifted to this and we'll get the output here in the next clock pulse data from this will be um, we will get here so that is how it works so here we have flip flop ic then this is and gate ic and this is or gate uh, this is these are and gates this is or gate then this is a not gate so this is how the connection has to be made then clock should be given as specified here uh, and you have to verify uh, the output and you can give any input uh, I mean any bit combination you can give as the four inputs that we have to give. So this is how it works. Thank you.